Hi guys B Tech here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use Windows 10 and Windows 11 on same PC via dual boot method. So before we begin your sub to the channel will be amazing. This is my device. It's an old Intel Core i5 3rd Gen 1. If you want to know how to install Windows 11 on older hardware I have already done couple of videos about that. I will leave links to those videos down below. It's now only running Windows 11. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is create an unallocated space for the secondary operating system, which is Windows 10. For that you will need to right click on Windows logo and there will be a section called Disk Management. Click on it and it will open the Disk Management System application. I have two storage drives in my device. One is a SSD and other one is a mechanical hard drive. Here I will show you. As you can see this is my SSD and I already have installed Windows 11 on it. But I'm gonna install Windows 10 on it as well. You don't need separate drives. For that you will need to shrink some volume of space from the SSD. For that right click on the SSD drive. Now in this menu you can see there is shrink option. So click on it. This will bring up the shrinking menu. You will need at least 20 gigabytes of space to install Windows 10. But 32 gigabytes of space is recommended. So I'm gonna shrink about 35 gigabytes for Windows 10. Enter the amount you want to shrink and click shrink button. This will create 35 gigabytes of unallocated space on SSD. Now the first part is done, let's move to the next part. For this you will need a USB pen drive at least size of 8 gigabytes. Plug in the USB drive to the PC. Now you have to download and create Windows 10 bootable drive via this pen drive. For that you will need Windows 10 ISO file. I have already downloaded in my device. If you haven't downloaded it, open your browser and type in Windows 10. This will bring up Microsoft's official site to download Windows 10. Select the official Microsoft site and there will be tool to download Windows 10. From it you can download Windows 10 ISO file. After downloading the Windows 10 ISO file you will need to download another tool called Rufus to create a bootable drive. I will leave links in the description to download Rufus. After downloading it open it. Now you can select downloaded Windows 10 ISO file from here. You can change the partition scheme GPT to MBR if your device is on MBR. Since my device is on GPT I will keep these settings as it is. Now click start. This will take around 15 minutes depending on your USB drive speed. Keep in mind that all your USB drive's data will be formatted doing this. After it's done, you can close the program. Now shut down the device and plug in the bootable drive. Now turn on the device while pressing the hotkey for boot device options. In my case it is ESC or F9 key. From boot manager select the bootable drive which you have plugged in. Now your PC will boot via the bootable drive. This may take up some time. This is the Windows installation menu. Select install now.
Now it will ask for product key. If you have one enter it here. If not, click I don't have a product key. Now this will bring up the version of Windows which you want to install. I will choose Windows 10 Pro from here. Accept the terms and conditions click next and from here select custom install. Now this will bring up the partition that you want to install Windows 10. Select the unallocated space which you have created at first place. In my case it is 35 GB free space. Select it and click next. This process will take like 5 to 10 minutes if you have a SSD. But it will take up to 30 minutes if you have HDD. Here on you can do the process as you like. Now this is the first boot up and no drivers installed yet. Because of that experience is little bit laggy. Make sure to disable anything unwanted running on background and disable the unwanted startup processes via task manager. Now I will shut down the device and show you guys how it will be startup and the grub menu. And I will show you both operating systems. If you guys find this video useful please help me by subscribing.